Welcome to Rebuke All Devils Radio, 107.7, home of the truth. Subscribe to our channel and receive breaking news, world news, along with a variety of true music on our playlist. If you would like to join us or advertise, email us at Rebuke All Devils Radio, 107.7, at yahoo.com. Home of the truth and show it's your boy Rebuke All Devils hollering at you, man. And uh, let me do this. This story is courtesy of Ace Showbiz, man. Uh, we got Snoop on the show today. Snoop Dogg responds to sexual assault lawsuit filed ahead of Super Bowl gig. Gold digger season. All right, man. So I guess we got a female that's trying to blame uh, Snoop for some uh, a sexual assault, right? The young, wild, and free rapper and his longtime associate, Bishop Don Juan, are sued by a model and dancer who demands under $10 million for the alleged incident that occurred nearly a decade ago. Ace Showbiz, Snoop Dogg, has responded to a new sexual assault lawsuit filed by a woman who is a model and dancer and was only identified as Jane Doe ahead of his Super Bowl 56 halftime show performance. The Drop It Like It's Hot rapper set aside his time to subtly address the case on social media. Taken to his Instagram account on Wednesday, February the 9th, the young, wild, and free hitmaker shared a cryptic note that read, Gold Digger season is here. He went on to add, Be careful, nephews. Keep your guards up and keep your circle small, along with the lawyer, bag of money, and the police officer emoji. Snoop, whose real name is Calvin Brothers Jr., is accused of forcing oral sex on the woman in 2013 in the legal papers, per TMZ. The woman who demanded under $10 million filed a suit on Wednesday, February the 9th, just days prior to the musician's performance at the Super Bowl, which will be aired live on, November, on NBC on February the 13th. In court docs, the woman claimed she saw Snoop perform in Anaheim, California on May 29, 2013. The woman alleged that Bishop Don Juan, a longtime associate of Snoop's, offered her a ride home after the event. The woman went on to say that she fell asleep in the car. When she woke up, she found out that she arrived at Bishop Dunn's house instead of hers. Plaintiff was exhausted and fell asleep at Bishop Dunn's home, the suit stated. Bishop Dunn then allegedly pulled his penis from his pants and forced his penis in plaintiff's face. It also said that Bishop Dunn repeatedly slammed his penis into plaintiff's mouth. When she awoke at 4 a.m., Bishop Dunn <laughs> discriminated against and harassed plaintiff because of plaintiff's sex and gender. She insisted. I don't know how you go back to sleep after somebody repeatedly slammed their penis into your mouth, but okay. The woman went on saying that Bishop Dunn later handed her a dress and instructed her to put it on so they could go to Snoop's studio. She claimed that Bishop Dunn said at the time, I want to see if he would make you the weather girl for some TV show. She admitted that she went to Snoop's studio but had stomach pain so she went to the bathroom. When she was in the toilet, Snoop allegedly walked in, standing with his crotch in Plaintiff's face while Plaintiff was defecating on, toilet, on the toilet. She added that the hip-hop star then forced oral sex on her. After a few minutes, defendant Snoop Dogg with Jewish penis from Plaintiff's mouth, visibly unsatisfied with Plaintiff's reluctance and disgust of being forced to engage in oral sex. The complaint stated, the rapper allegedly proceeded to masturbate and ejaculated on plaintiff's upper chest and lower neck. He then purportedly said, I'll get you something to clean up with, and left the accuser humiliated, terrified, and panicked in the bathroom without returning. Shortly thereafter, Bishop Dunn allegedly said to her, come here, take a picture with Snoop in the suit. The woman admitted she was scared at the time, before pointing out that Snoop didn't hire her because she refused to willingly and enthusiastically give oral sex. So that's what we had, man, on the, the story. Uh, do y'all believe her? 
I don't know. I mean, I, I think that, you know, if that happened with Bishop Dunn won, I think you'd have left the first time. I don't think you would have stuck around. And <clears throat> I had to clear this up. I don't know what man would want to get his penis, you know, sucked on or oral sex and some female is in the bathroom taking a dump. You know what I mean? I mean, I just, I'm pretty sure the smell is unbearable, you know? And so just to sit there and have that happen, that's kind of questionable too. But I wasn't there, so I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, drop your comments down below, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell, man. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.